Continue Mechanics a review of the mechanics of rigid bodies. The diagram given below shows a uniform lamina that lies in the plane x3 equal to 0 of a right-handed rectangular coordinate system. For convenience, the x3 axis is not shown but should be taken to be normal to the plane containing the x1 and x2 axes. The lamina is bounded by the x1 axis and the graphs of the functions x2 equal to f of x1 and x2 equal to g of x1 from x1 equal to 0 to x1 equal to 10. In the special case of a uniform lamina, in other words, a very thin plate with a constant density, we have that a volume integral that contains density reduces to a surface integral multiplied by the density. Therefore, the mass of the uniform lamina is equal to its density multiplied by the area of the lamina and the x1 and x2 coordinates of the center of gravity is equal to 1 over the area multiplied by the integrals of x1 and x2 respectively over the surface of the lamina. Because the uniform lamina lies in the plane x3 equal to 0, we have that the x3 coordinates of the center of gravity is equal to 0. For the current example, we have that the area of the uniform lamina is equal to the integral from 0 to 5 of the area elements that are bounded by the x1 axis and the graph of the function f of x1 plus the integral from 5 to 10 of the area elements that are bounded by the x1 axis and the graph of the function g of x1. In the same way, we can calculate the x1 coordinate of the center of gravity. And the x2 coordinate of the center of gravity. Therefore, from the previous calculations, we are able to determine the center of gravity of the uniform lamina.